Okay, we've got a very interesting integral to look at today. We have the integral of one over x minus one plus this ratio of these two series. Now this first term is something we can integrate already. That's just gonna be the log of x minus one. But this is a lot more complicated. We can't really cancel any factors because we're adding them. Um, we have to try and find a relationship between these two uh, series. So the first connection I want to make is think about differentiating the term x to the k plus one with respect to x. And to do this is quite standard. You just bring down the power, we have k plus one, and then you multiply this by x to the k. And this is exactly the term that we have in our series. So it tells us that the top series is kind of a derivative of some kind. We can actually express this as a derivative of another series. So we're gonna try and show that the numerator is exactly the derivative of the denominator. And if we can do that, we can use a substitution. So let's let u to be the whole denominator. So u is the sum from k equals to, uh, zero up to 2019 and of x to the k. And let's see what happens when we differentiate this. So we have du equals, we have the sum, and let's think about differentiating the terms in here first. We have k times x to the k minus one. That's just differentiating these terms. And because differentiation is linear, um, the series interchanges with the differentiation. So it's actually the same, um, the start, the limits are the same here. So it's from k equals zero up to 2019. However, um, we can notice something. So if we put k equals zero into this um, formula here, we actually have zero. So the first term is gonna be zero, no matter what the value of x is. So we can actually just start off our series from k equals one. And then we also need a dx factor here. So this is multiplying this whole series. So now let's try and express this right-hand side in terms of our numerator, in terms of the first series on top. And we see we're almost there. We just need to replace k by k plus one. And then we just need to think about what the new limits are in this series. So we're gonna use like a, a substitution or a mapping. We're gonna map k to j plus one. So j is just a new variable. It doesn't actually matter what it is. We could just use k again, but I'm just trying to make it clearer. Um, and then what happens, we have du equals the sum, and we'll look at the limits in a second, but then we replace k by j, j plus one, so we have j plus one times x to the j plus one minus one, which is just j. And now these terms are exactly in the form that we have up here. So now we just need to think about these limits, and we want to express it in terms of j. So let's just rearrange for j. This is the same as j equals k minus one. So to get the new limits, we just put in the values of k of the old limits in terms of this formula here. So if we put k equals one into this equation, we get j equals zero. And if we put k equals 2019, we get j equals 2018. And this is actually exactly the same series. I can rewrite it in terms of k. It doesn't matter what uh, the index is, but this is k equals zero up to 2018 of k plus one times x to the k. So du equals all this. And I've just realized I've forgotten the dx term. So all these series need to be multiplied by dx. And then this is really useful because we can substitute dx times the series, which is just the numerator of this integral, um, by du. So this simplifies really nicely because the numerator turns into du and the denominator turns into u. So now we can evaluate this integral. We're gonna split off these two terms. So the first, we just consider the first term separately. So this is integral of x minus one dx and we're applying the substitution to this second term. And if we do that, we have one over u, which is the denominator, times replacing the numerator and the dx by du, which is really simple. And then we can actually evaluate both of these. It's going to be log of x minus one plus log of u plus c. And the last step as always is to express in terms of our original variable, which is x. So we're just gonna uh, put back in what u is in terms of x. So we have log of x minus one plus log of this whole series. So k equals zero up to 2019 of x to the k plus c. So this is actually a correct answer. We can actually simplify a little bit more because this is a geometric series in here and we can actually use the, the, the formula for the sum of the geometric series. And if we do that, then we can actually exploit some of the properties of logs that we know. So we have log of x minus one, that's the first term. 
And then just using the formula for the sum of a geometric series, we have x to the power of the number of terms in here, and that is 2020, because we start at k equals zero and we have 2019, that's our upper limit. So we have actually uh, 2020 uh, terms in this series. And then we have this minus one divided by x minus one and plus c. So the reason this is really nice is we can use uh, kind of the law of division or subtraction for logs. We have a log of a ratio, and that's the same as the difference of two logs. And then we see that we, the denominator is actually the same as our first term. So this is gonna cancel, and we'll have log of x minus one plus log of just the top term, the numerator, x to the 2020 minus one minus log of the denominator of the bottom term. So minus log of x minus one plus c. And this cancels with the first term, which is really nice. So our answer is, if I've got enough space, I'll just squeeze it in. Uh, the solution is log of x to the 2020 minus one plus c. And that's the answer.